Hey everyone, it's Brendan the Blind Guy here. Now, you better stay right there and hold on to your clothes. Because really, life is never better than when you get to hang out with rock stars in the making like I am today. And this one, you really got to give a damn about. Because I'm talking to the amazing, the... Oh, I'm just going to let it slip. Luca Brasi, everyone! How are you guys? Yeah, good man. That was the best intro I reckon we've ever had in our whole lives. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, that was awesome. So, as you see, I'm sitting here with the whole boys backstage in Sydney tonight, people. And before I get into it, now, last year, last year alone, in six months, you guys performed at some festivals like Laneway Festival, Party in the Paddock, uh, The Hills Are Alive. And you went on a sold-out national single tour, wall-to-wall uh, -wall nationally, uh, yeah, released two singles. Um, God, if that's not enough, you, you did your own festival and did a split release with the UK's Apologies I Have None. Now, do I want to know where you get your time and energy from, guys? <laughs> it's all very wholesome, mate. Clean living. Uh, we've got some Vietnamese food here. We drank a lot of water. Yeah. We're just really positive, talk to each other nicely, and we just felt good. Yeah. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> that is not the truth. That is the truth. Uh, okay, so n nothing, nothing illegal in, or incriminating, uh, I hope? No, that's No. Okay. <gasps> cool. Well, as I said, people, we're hanging out here at Menning Bar in Sydney, and the show tonight is for your fourth studio album, the ARIA Top 10 album Stay, which features Let It Slip and Clothe. But before I talk about the album, for people who haven't experienced an amazing Luca Brasi show before, run us through what fans could expect and like, what do you bring to the stage and how do you wow the crowd and get those women throwing their panties on stage? <laughs> Um, I'm kind of like a big sweaty, like, boy man, so there'll be a lot of sweat and like, sooking. That's about it. <laughs> That's my contribution. Yeah. Danny, what have you got, mate? Well, what, just a bit of energy from the boys. Yeah. Just a bit of excitement. Get everyone going. Once one of us fires up, the rest fire up. Yeah, but, uh, yeah plenty of energy. Everyone has a good time. Uh, safe environment. That's what we're all about. Nice. What about you? Ah, uh, look, we just do our best. Sometimes that's not bad, and sometimes it's a bit bad, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, pretty honest up there. We just, uh, you know, play our songs to the best of our abilities, and yeah, hopefully tonight it's that's a good thing. I don't know. <laughs> cool. So I, I think I read on your Facebook, uh, empty bottles, full hearts, and no regrets. That, that's what you live by, guys, and that's uh, pretty accurate. So, yeah. Okay, well, your fourth studio album, as I mentioned, Stay, which features Let It Slip and Clothes, which are two amazing singles. So run us through what you guys wrote the songs about and kind of give us a bit of a, a glimpse into what the album's about. Uh, I guess Let It Slip, the first, first single? Yep. First single. Um, is a tune about, I guess, trying not to take life for granted and realising what you do have no matter what it is, is important and that you're, you're doing well to be carrying on and, you know, keep going. Yeah, basically, that's what the song's about. Yeah. Appreciating what you have, making the best of it. Are you guys going to add anything? Me? No, don't reckon. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a drama, people. It's just a drama. But anyway, okay. So, now... How would you say your music is progressing and what direction it's moving in from your previous three albums? Matty, what do you reckon? Uh, it's probably less about playing fast and hard and more about adding different dynamics to the band, make the loud bits louder and the quiet bits quieter, I'm trying to make sounds that people haven't heard before, so not rehashing the same stuff. 
and just working really hard to try and create catchy melodies, really. Cool. Anyone want to add to that? I see you got some stuff there, mate. Far left over there. Oh, whoop! Yeah, right. Here he comes. We're just chasing a good song. That's all the boys are up to. Heads down, bums up, chasing that big tune. And um, these are definitely our best songs yet. And, um, oh, yeah, just dangling a few rods and hoping for the best. Yeah. I, I can only imagine uh, what song you had in mind when you said face down, bums up. It gets pretty ugly in the, in the studio. It's not pretty sight. It's very, uh, yeah, it's just sweaty, nervous boys doubting ourselves the whole time. Pretty much, it's not a fun. It's not a fun experience making music, is it, boys? No, not really. It's kind of rewarding at the end, but the whole thing is, oh my god, what are we doing? This sucks, but came out sick at the end. I think so, anyways. So we're pretty happy with it. So. Oh, so okay. <laughs> so you guys are a pretty, as you said, sweaty. Well, I'm, I'm going to say it. Balls out punk rock band and bit of a manly man as you're saying there so what would you say your your writing influences and styles are both musically and lyrically um the stuff that i guess i write about is all pretty personal so i guess everything that's been influenced on these songs is like literally what's happening in life and trying to take it apart and understand it um musically i guess we all grew up listening to a lot of punk rock a lot of rock and roll um but obviously we're cowards now, as you'd ask a lot of people that we sold out, and now we write pop songs for the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Try to. Try to. Yeah, yeah, totally. When I, when I listen to a Luca Brasi song, I'm just like, I am totally hearing, like, a bit of Tay-Tay in there. Tay-Tay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. She's mad. Yeah, she's sick. Yeah. Back that. Yeah. Yeah, she's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, um... Mm, yeah, you, you know, like we we are never ever ever getting back together, Ross. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah definitely. If she I, could transfer us some coin at some point, that'd be nice. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah well, um, I, I yeah, I I can just imagine you guys doing a cover of that song. It would go down nicely. Well, anyway, oh that that might be the next Triple J unearthed. Oh, not unearthed the um, oh, like, like a version you. that one. Yeah. God, I gotta listen to Triple J a bit more. <laughs> Oh, I'll get my facts right. Well, anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. Okay, so you guys are relentless touring machines and you're always on the road and everything. But when, you, when you've got a bit of downtime, what, 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 do you, what mischief do you get up to in your spare time? Um, when we're not on tour, we usually... This is going to be really depressing. We're at home, at work. <laughs> getting, ready to go on, getting ready to go on the next tour and try not to have a panic attack. Um, <laughs> Trying try to uh, rebuild our relationships at home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a hobby. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. To a certain point, so we can go again and then yeah, work yeah. our way back and down again, back up. Oh, okay. So you know, here I was, I was expecting you'd be like, oh yeah, we go to the club and get on the piss and you know all of this, live the life of a rock star. But no, no, you, we you do that, but not all the time. Yeah, we're cowards. Yeah. We're old cowards. <laughs> hey, you only look eighteen to me. Thank you, mate. Been fishing for that compliment all day. 50. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, you never looked better. Never looked better. Yeah. So what? No. <laughs> what? What? No. No mischief. I'll get back a bit of mischief. No, you bullied. Oh, we'll. we'll, we'll nah, no mischief for me. I'm not talking about it. Uh, nah, we have fun. We hang out at home. We've got to hang out. We're really good friends, and we, all our families and our whole friends are really close. So we're always hanging out at home. Um. <laughs> Busby dabbles in a fair bit of skateboarding. Oh, He's a yeah. pretty good skateboarder. I'm trying. Yeah, I gave up to the knees, so. Yeah. So, you, you, you're trying to do the skateboarding? Busby's making a comeback. Yeah, I skateboarded in high school, and then the guitar sort of took over, and now I'm trying to make a comeback, and uh, my hips are sore all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun, but it's hard, and it hurts. I took a tumble, oh, maybe like six weeks ago now, and just smashed my shoulder, and I was just like... What's it? What's the dude of Lithuania? Well, I'm too old for this shit. Like, you know what I mean? Riggs. Yeah. Yep. Ah, uh, okay. So, when you're on tour, a lot of people think it's all rainbows and sunshine, and you know, living the life of a rock star, all all glamour. But they don't actually realise how how much of a struggle it can be, and how well, exhausting and 
like being away from your family, like when you're on tour and everything, it, it can be bloody hard. Uh, so how do you kind of cope with those challenges and, you know, what's your survival method, methods on tour? Do, do you have a special teddy bear that you hold tight on tour or... Yeah, yeah um, Rusty likes to hold whoever's in bed with him, <laughs> whether it be Danny or one of the other fellas. Yeah. Last night, I think he leant over and gave him a kiss sweet and nothings into Dicko's ear and said, I love you, babe, and went yeah. to sleep. Yeah, I literally... I... I'm not even sure if it happened. I'm pretty sure it did, but I was like asleep and I rolled over, hugged Dicko, our mate, who's our sound guy, hugged him. I think I probably kissed him on the cheek and went, Good night, babe, I love you. <laughs> and, rolled over and, sleep. and then I was sort of like, I sort of half woke up and I was like, Am I dreaming? Did that really happen? And then one time in Singapore, me and Danny were sharing a bed and I woke up fully spooning him. I woke up and Danny, Danny turned around and I sort of woke up, looked at him and went, Oh, sorry, bro, and rolled over and then like giggled for an hour, like, I don't know what was more annoying, me, you waking up to me hugging you or me like shaking the bed for an hour, like giggling away. It was ridiculous. It was so ridiculous. I haven't shared a bed since. No, not allowed. Yeah, we should. Yeah. I'll keep me asking. Rekindle. Oh, yeah. You don't hug your mates in your sleep. What are you doing? Oh, well. What about you, Tyler? Um, Yeah? I guess, I guess the thing about us is that we have known each other for forever. Yeah. And we understand each other. If someone's in a shitty mood, then you can like tease them for a bit and then stop because you realise they're not, not enjoying it. <laughs> Maybe like, we just know each other. So if someone's having a bad time, we just learn to leave them alone. Yeah. And look after each other when everyone's a bit down. Last night I, have, I was having a soup because I hurt my voice a bit because I was being an idiot. And um, the boys were like, oh, you're right, mate. And like, come get a bit of colour and left me alone to, to wallow in my Rude. sadness. Yeah. I was pretty upset. And then I sent a message like, I'll, I'll be right. Stop so good. Yeah. That was one and then I said. sent an emoji afterwards of someone doing this. Yeah, yeah someone <laughs> crying. Yeah. Why, why didn't you um give him a kiss good night and say love you, babe, and like spoon him that night? Like, like I can't sleep next to him because I, I sleep really badly and Buzzy snores real loud, so I have to sleep in pads. It's like sleeping next to a John Deere tractor. <laughs> it, it sounded like you needed a, a, a kiss and a compliment. That yeah, I did. I got, I got, yeah, I saw the friends last night and they gave me a little. No, oh, well there we go. Okay. My ego. What was the compliment? You're not too big a fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't the worst looking thing in the world. <laughs> I've seen worse bands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well guys, I reckon we're at the point in our relationship where we get exclusive. I mean, I think it's pretty exclusive just the five of us. And Fuck yeah. yeah, and hopefully the, the thousands of viewers. I mean... Million. How exclusive is that? So, guys. What would be a fun fact about yourselves that I can't find on the internet, because I will check, and that you wouldn't normally tell a journalist? <laughs> uh, they want to have one off the top of their head. Well, normally for me, it's like the other way around. And like, oh, you play in a band. Like, what? Like, you don't look like a punk rocker. Because I work at a gym back home, so oh, yeah. the complete opposite to being on tour, where you drink and eat cheap food. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, I've only got like a rude one. Yeah, I'd love to hear it. Yeah. I, uh, we were in Europe, and I think I was 28. Oh, this is a big story. <laughs> no, 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 yes. no, 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 I sleep in bed next to Dicko, the one that Buzzy hooked up with. <laughs> We've made Dicko sound really sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a good-looking man. And uh, I've never had a nocturnal emission <laughs> in my life. <laughs> and I had my first wet dream sleeping next to Dicko when I was 28 years old. How many have you had since? <laughs> oh... Oh, wow. There's a lot of energy there. Yeah. Oh. They're long to us. They're like a long That end interview, that's it. Long term interview. Oh, no, 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 no. No, this shit is... It's, uh, like, this, this shit keeps going. No, I, uh, come on. Come on, flop it out. Flop it out. What's your fun fact? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> um, I don't... Uh, do I have a fun fact? Oh... Uh, I can on, you gotta you gotta live up to Tyler's now. Yeah, um and 
I just had a nocturnal emission just then. <laughs> no, um, no, I don't know. I'm kind of boring. Ugh. That's a terrible answer. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty. Ugh. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. Okay, and and then like when I'm wrapping up the interview, Dico is just gonna be like, "Oh, my fun fact, my fun fact." <laughs> Oh, okay. So, this answer, I'm guessing, is not going to be boring. So, I'm I'm guessing you've had plenty of priceless moments, and you just gave me a priceless moment. But is that the one that really takes the cake, that's like hilarious, priceless? WTF, come on. Spill <laughs> your guts, guys. I've had some other pretty funny things happen on tour. Usually involves Danny and Tyler trying to fight each other. Mm. So we had a good one once where Danny was driving the van. He's probably a bit bored because he wasn't drinking. Richo was yelling out the van door at some people as we were leaving. And Danny thought it'd be funny to slam the brakes on. <laughs> and the door of the van basically guillotined Richo's head <laughs> off. <laughs> it sounds funny now, me. but it was a very oh, depressing very place to be oh, for yeah, a couple yeah. of hours there. It wasn't great, was it? <sighs> we built a bridge. We were made friends. Also, once Tyler kicked Danny's McDonald's out of his hand and Danny <laughs> tried to bash him. <laughs> that are two lowest points. That was before Danny. that first one, actually. Yeah. Too. Right. yeah. Nothing, there hasn't been nothing for a while. We're doing well. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. We've got understanding now. All right, what about you, Tyler? Come on, can you... Apart from... Man, I can't think of it. All I can think about that whole interview was that story and I couldn't think of that anything else. <laughs> and, and just... Even, you, you, it, it's funny, people, because he that he he just he couldn't hold it back, and he he, he just it just kind of it was that that answer was a little bit premature. Yeah. <laughs> it because because that was actually in my fun fact question when you you would it would just like oh, it, it it's coming it's it's coming but and you you it. It, it was um, premature ancillation um, because it was actually supposed to be in this question. Oh. So, Oops. yeah. Oh, Whoops. <laughs> anyway. You can share about, um... No, I don't want to tell anyone else's stories. <laughs> oh, you, come on, have you got any nah, more? Pat's going to say something I don't want to talk about. I don't know what it is. I'm <laughs> embarrassed already. <laughs> Just a missing piece of your anatomy. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, there's... <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Come on, wait, 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 what? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Well, I was just taking this turn. Everyone in this band has a foreskin apart from me. <laughs> <laughs> band and crew. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well. This is fast. Yeah, this is taking a turn for me. Oh, my God. I think Dico got all of yours, though. <laughs> all right. Oh, my God. Damn it. Oh. Wow. Okay, well, I can imagine... I can, I can sit here having a laugh with you guys for hours upon hours. I really could. And um, talk about plenty more of your nocturnal emissions, Tyler. I'm never going to let you live this down. You know that, right? Done forever. Of tomorrow's news, but, uh... but don't worry. It, it, it's totally private. It's only... It, you know, I'm sure none of my vi- um, viewers are going to tell anyone. So... You're not going to tell anyone, are you? No. So. Send the link to Tyler's parents. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we've got to wrap things up. So, once you finish your amazing tour for your new album and, uh, you know, wow the panties off me tonight, um, what, what else is coming up and lurking around the corner that fans can look forward to and get excited about? Um, we've got a few shows left on this. Run and then we're playing a bunch of festivals till the end of the year, basically. Got a shitload of shows. Oh, very nice. Been, um, hanging out, really? playing some gigos. Cool. Sipping some cold ones, kicking the footy, oh. playing some riffs. But Sounds good. Yeah. Eating Vietnamese food. Mm. Mm. Sweet. E- eating what, sorry? Vietnamese food. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's what that pungent smell is in here. Mm. So, and 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 we're hopefully not kicking Dan's Maccas out of his hands. No, we're not. we've got understanding now. We might be. Yeah, don't touch his Maccas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in general, actually. If you don't kick my Maccas, I won't slam your head in the door. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> sure. 
Yeah, it shook yeah. on it. Okay, cool. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys, and I'm so keen to see you out on stage. Yes, blind pun intended, people, as always. <laughs> Danny, oh, Buzzy. Well, who said that? <laughs> Me. I hear a voice, but I'm not seeing anyone. <laughs> Anyway, thanks heaps, guys, and uh, good luck on on stage. Total pleasure, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Oh, yes. <laughs>